Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Ladies and gentlemen, what am I bid for this beautiful antique old brass lamp at least 150 years old, valued at $75? Observe the beautiful lines of the base and the filigreed work around the candelabras. Three candles. What and a hideous old lamp, Mama. Come on, Claudia, let's go home. Room. Oh, we can stay a little while longer. I don't think anybody will buy that lamp, do you? I won't, so why do we have to stay and watch? Oh, what's the hurry, Mama? No hurry, except we've been at this auction sale all afternoon. We haven't bought a thing. There's hardly anything else up for sale, so let's go home. Just a little while longer. We might miss the best thing in the sale. That chance. I haven't seen anything decent so far. These country auctions. You never can tell when the goose is going to lay the golden egg. Who will give me $20? 20 20 20 No bid. Who will give me 19 18 17 17 $7. $7. Seven I wouldn't give seven. two cents. Am I Shop, or you'll get it for Am two cents. Eight. Eight, seven, fifty. Eight. Seven, fifty. Who will bid eight? Eight. 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 Eight, fifty. Going, 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 gone. To the gentleman in the straw hat for eight dollars. Gone. Eight dollars for that brass lamp. Honestly, how some people throw their money away. Claudia, are you intending to buy anything at all? If I see something I like. Oh, let's just stay for the next few articles, Mama. As long as we're here. I've heard that all afternoon. I'm dead. Wonder what's up for sale next. Uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, the last item of the day, a grab bucket. One large pail filled with miscellaneous articles, each with their own particular value, and sold all at once in this large pail. I wonder what some of the things are in the pail, Mama. I don't want to Everything know. Everything in this pail is of great usefulness and necessary in every household. We do not have the time to itemize each individual article, but I assure you, you will not go wrong. What do you suppose in the pail, Mama? I told you I wasn't interested. Do you think people ought to bid on things they don't even know? I do not. Still, it's an awfully big pail. Must be full of an awful lot of stuff. Claudia, get that look out of your eyes. What am I bid for this excellent collection of items? Some over a hundred years old. Some of contemporary origin. At least twenty items. What am I bid? Five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars. I wouldn't bid five dollars in sheer ignorance. That's a relief. Four dollars. Four dollars. Four dollars. Do I hear a bid? Four dollars. The pail itself is almost worth the four dollars, Mama. You can buy a pail like that for 25 cents at the hardware store. Oh. Three dollars. Three dollars. Three dollars. Do I hear a bid for three dollars? Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot go wrong. The pail itself is worth three dollars. Do I hear a bit? You do not. Come now, ladies and gentlemen, where is your spirit of imagination? Where is your curiosity? What am I bid? Twenty-five cents, Claudia. Do I hear a bid of twenty-five cents? Ladies and gentlemen, come now. Certainly you wouldn't let this excellent collection of miscellaneous items go for twenty-five cents. Fifty cents. Claudia, you're bidding against yourself. But he's right, Mommy. He's right. Fifty cents, ladies and gentlemen. Am I being bid only fifty cents? Fifty cents! Fifty cents! Going! Going! In the red coat for 50 cents. That's me. I'm wearing a red coat. And my face matches. Claudia, do you realize what you've done? We've got to cart that thing home. But, Mama, we're going to find out what's in the bucket. Curiosity killed a cat. Satisfaction brought him back. It doesn't rhyme. Where's your spirit of adventure, Mama? This country would never have been settled if everybody's forefathers had been like you. All right, I lose. Go get your bucket and let's go home before you lose your head again. Ladies and gentlemen, that closes this auction sale. The estate of Mrs. Matilda Higglesworth. The next sale in the old green barn will be Tuesday night at 3 o'clock. And I won't be here.
Oh, uh, Mr. Auctioneer. Yeah? What, one moment, please. Hey, don't go away. Ah, you're the lady in the red coat. Yeah. Where can I pick up my bucket and give you the 50 cents? Right here. You got yourself a bye, lady. <laughs> here you are. Thanks. Whoop! Heavy. Worth its weight in gold, ma'am. Mama! Hey, Mama, come here and help me carry this fortune. Nothing doing. It's all yours. My own mother. Car's parked across the road. Let's go. What is in that bucket, anyway? Uh Uh-huh. Now you're curious. I am not. certainly is heavy. Well, let's go home. David will be waiting. I'm sure it's filled with all sorts of wonderful things we've just been dying for. And I know one thing. Anything that weighs as heavy as this bucket must be worth it. David? David, you home yet? You have to on the hall table, so you must be home. Are you home? Where on earth have you been? Mama and I have been to an auction sale. Uh-oh. You don't have to look like that. I only spent 50 cents. Only 50 cents? You're slipping. I know. What could you buy for only 50 cents? A whole bucket full of stuff. A whole bucket full of junk. Yeah. That's a fine way to talk, Mommy. You'll hurt its feelings. Poor little bucket. Oh, David, I'm so exhausted. Here, you take the bucket. I will not carry your own loot. Put it down somewhere. Put it down. Right here in the middle of the living room? In the middle of it. Well, all right. David, we spend all afternoon at an auction, and this is what we come home with. Oh, consider yourself lucky, Mama. The last auction Claudia went to, she bought a secretary that was too tall for the room. That afternoon, I found out I was going to have a baby. Yeah, it's always one thing right after another, isn't it? Wonder what the one thing after the other will be this time. Look in the bucket. I wonder where on earth they collected all these odds and ends. They are from the estate of Mrs. Matilda Higglesworth. You don't say. She's dead. You don't say. Small wonder. (gasps) Will you look? Here is a lovely old drain. Oh, just look. An old drain. Lovely. Isn't it stunning? I wonder what we could use it for. It's just a drop of drain in the bucket, that's all. David, if you're going to make a pun for every item I bought, I'll leave. I'm going to throw the whole business out the window. Go ahead, David. Make a pun. Now, we'll just set this lovely old drain aside so we find a use for it. See what else we have. What is this? Looks like a a dog collar. Some dog. Look, it practically goes around my waist. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's see. Some waist. You're not going to run around with a brandy flask hanging from your waist, Mrs. Norton, are you? Oh, here's some china. I wonder if it's an antique, Mama. Antique. It's old, not antique. Six sauces. One, two, three, four, Each five. One different. Mm-hmm. We can use them for ashtrays. Not on your life. Not for my ashes. They're sort of cute. cute. Ten cent store, cute. Now don't be snobbish, Mom. I love the ten cent store. And you could have gotten six of these sauces at half the price. Let's see what else we have, shall we? Now look at the look on her face, Mrs. Brown. As happy as the Midas counting his gold. Claudia should be a scavenger. I think she is. Will you look at this stunning old knife? Oh, isn't that lovely? I wonder what we could use that for. Mm, I don't know. I haven't any idea, so throw it out. Here's an apple core. Well, what do you know? This is for a good year for apples. Mm -hmm. And will you look at this adorable shaving mug? The whole business is worth ten cents, you know. You've lost forty cents on the deal. Money. Is that all you can think about, Miss Brown? I'll answer. I hope it's the just man. I wouldn't part with any of this for all the money in the world. Hand me that shaving mug, Mug. And look at the light cord. Just what I need for my closet. Mm-hmm. Well, hello, Mr. Tucker. Seen you down to the auction sale this afternoon, Miss Brown. Oh, were you there too? Sure was. You didn't pick up the dangdest things at an auction sale. We did. Come in, come in, Mr. Tucker. When I got home, I found a message from your husband. Yes, we had some late corn. I thought you might like to have some, Mr. Sure Tucker. would, sure would. Hey, uh, what do you got here? I bought the grab bucket at the auction sale. What do you know? That's the fastest way to throw away your money I ever come across. Grab buckets is just for people who like to get rid of their earnings. Kindly repeat that distinctly, Mr. Tucker. It's a plot. Used to buy them myself. Then I found out that all it was was a bunch of useless thingamajigs. How can you say such a thing, Mr. Tucker? Look at this stunning light cord and this, this, this handsome St. Bernard dog collar. Look at the flask on it. I bought it for David for next winter. Mm, oh. Bought it for me, just what I need. And this drain and an apple core and an old knife and all these beautiful saucers. Mm-hmm. Well, you sure got rook. I sure did. Uh, what do you hold in there, Mrs. Norton? Oh, it's just a cracked shaving mug. Hmm. Looks like a beer mug. 
How would you know? I wouldn't. I hate beer. Uh, let me uh, have a look at it. It's uh, it's really not much to look at. Huh. What do you know? Just like the shaving mug my pa used to use. That was near 100 years ago. That'd make this one an antique, then. No, they don't have any value, darling. Who cares? Still an antique. Yep. Just like kissing, with a daffy dill on one side and a violet on the other. Sure brings back memories. I remember when I was a little tyke, I used to stand watching my pa shave. Then I used his shaving mug till about ten years ago, till my sister Delilah thought it was better looking as a vase. <laughs> Women. Rather than have her desecrate its personality, I heaved it out the window. Broke it. I wouldn't let my pa's shaving mug be used for a few measly bug flowers. You That's huh? the kind of sentiment I admire, Mr. Tucker. Uh, this here's the kind of shaving mug I admire. I, uh... I sure have been having the time shaving out of them there tubes and jars. Taint the same. Nope. Taint the same tall tall. Well, Mr. Tucker, you take the mug. Yes, go on. You take it. No, no. I wouldn't dream of it. You'll be doing us a great favor. You nope. Better. Nope. I wouldn't dream of accepting it as a gift. It's against my principles, Miss Brown. I'd accept it as a gift from you. Well, she, uh, she has no principles. But uh, I'll offer you something for it. I'll offer you a, um, 75 cents. Oh, I couldn't accept 75 cents. That's much too much. It's worth it to me, every last penny of it. Wait till I show this mug to Delilah. She'll think it's a ghost. <laughs> Ghostly, all right. Scare silly, it will. <laughs> oh, please take it as a Tucker, as a present, Mr. Tucker. Well, I'll As a take token it. of our affection for you, Mr. Tucker. Yes, I'll take it, but not as a token. 75 cents or you're stuck with it. Here yeah. you are. Well? Here's your money. Mr. Tucker, here's your mug. It's your honey, all right. Mr. Tucker, there's only one favor you'll have to do for me. You have to take the whole bucket for that price, or I'll feel as if I robbed you. Well, Delilah could use an apple core, I guess. An extra pail's always handy, and it's, it's a deal. I'll take the whole kit and caboodle. It's a deal. I'll, I'll take it out to the car before you change your mind. Here, I'll carry it out for no, you. No, no, I do my own chores. Seventy-five cents, eh? <laughs> I sure turned a good bargain this afternoon. Them uh, grab buckets is always a buy. <laughs> Well, David, now what kind of a businesswoman do you think I am? When you're alone and helping yourself to a bite at noon, include a bottle of ice-cold Coca-Cola and see how it livens up everyday fare. And if others in the family are at home for the noon meal, see how much they appreciate the idea of lunching refreshed. A case of Coke is only a dollar, and those 24 bottles provide lunchtime refreshment for many meals. Have you seen my shaving mug, Mr. King? Hmm... Handsome one, isn't it? Yeah, it's just like my pa's was, with a daffy dill and violets. That Mrs. Norton, she's got everything a man wants. I've just been yearning for a shaving mug. Well, I'm glad you found what you wanted. Yeah, so my folks should always find what they want when they can. Oh, I agree, and I think I know at least two more people who found it. What's on your mind? Claudia and David. Tomorrow they celebrate their first wedding anniversary, a year of having what they want most. Each other, hey? Well, it's a mighty good thing to celebrate. Well, I'll be around. So long, Mr. King. So long, Mr. Tucker, and uh, shave close. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. And ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. This broadcast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. <laughs>